Hello everybody. Welcome back. We are continuing along. I'm doing two episodes today because wow, we had quite the episode last time. Uh we have a bear to go look for. And I think I'm going to actually do that right now while the weather is good. And let's see, how many torches do we have? We have eight torches, so let's go look for that bear. And let's go get our pot that we left again. So I've, I've left two pots because I've gotten too busy this run so far. And so we have a skillet, recall, at a where the moose spawns. We have a skillet in a um, Pleasant Valley. And we have a pot that's just right inside the cave that goes to Black Rock in this region. So, and we have a bear that should be dead out there somewhere. So we're just going to go take a look and see if we can see that bear anywhere. Um, and but, but before we do that, I want to take a moment. Let's see, what do we have for kindling here? We got some good stuff here. So uh, let's use... I'm going to drop this newspaper. I had, it's been so long since I had used newspapers and I was kind of wondering if maybe we could use it for fuel, but no, you cannot use, you cannot use a uh, newspaper for fuel, but I beg to differ because I have a, I have a fireplace in my house, so you can use that for fuel, <laughs> even if it's, you know, five more minutes or something, <laughs> right? Okay, let's uh, get this going. I want to get um, a warm buff here before we head out, and we're just going to head out with torches. Uh, the bear's dead. Uh, there's some wolves in the area, uh, but uh, we're not going to be doing really much of anything else at all. Uh, we're just going to head out there, and we're going to um, uh, see if we can find that bear. Uh, there's really... Nothing else we want from the bear at this point, really, other than the hide, to be honest with you. So, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's go ahead and make some reishi mushroom tea. And then, we'll just grab that just for now. Let's see how much time we got, 10 minutes. Let's add another one and just get two of them. Make sure I add the right piece of fuel here. Yeah, I was kind of busy the last time. I hadn't had done much. I was going to cook some more food here, but we're just going to grab some cattails and we're just going to head out. Grab some cattails on the way. So let's go see if we can find that bear. I'm going to grab sticks along the way. It's going to be Fairly difficult. Uh, looks like some sticks have respawned finally, which is great. So let's go this way. You know, I'm going to put this inside if I can find it. Oh, I'm going to have to open this here. Yeah, open that. Sort of uh, extend the longevity of that a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is we just want to go up a little bit. I should probably go up this way here. This would be a little shortcut. Maybe the bear died over here somewhere. And we can get some more cattails going this way anyway. So We do have to make another bow. We're out of our... We don't have a bow right now. We have everything we need. It's six and a half hours to make a bow inside the hut there, so... Yeah, last episode I was very scatterbrained and learned my lesson from that. I need to... The issue is I'm traveling right now and I'm visiting family and there were too many things going on around me. I had... Uh, my father was calling me on the phone. He doesn't like to do texting. He's just... He inherited the stubbornness from his own mother, my grandmother, uh, when it comes to most things. I'll get those um, 
burdock roots later on. We're really just looking for the bear at this point. The bear took off. Unfortunately, took off running. He was almost dead. He was almost dead. And he took off running the last episode, which is unfortunate. So is there anything that's looking like a bear carcass anywhere? I don't see anything yet this way. We're going to head up here. And we're most likely going to run into some wolves here, but we have our torches, so we're fine. Alright, let's head up this way. No bear over here quite yet. It's time to drink another reishi tea here. Give ourselves another buff. Uh, it should be warming up. I'm glad we got some condition back here. Yeah, I'm surprised that bear was taking so long to die. We had waited over an hour, and it was probably about, I think, an hour and a half. That looks like to be a wolf carcass up there. That's probably the wolf carcass, the wolf that we killed before. And if this is a normal route for guys to go ahead and run here, maybe... Let's see. Nope, that's not the wolf carcass. This is a deer. Okay. So false alarm there. There is one wolf out here that we killed that has one of our arrows in it. So that's over that way. <clears throat> And we weren't in a position to go run after that bear. Everything was very touch and go. Very touch and go. Last episode. As the weather's behaving, I can probably start harvesting some acorns here. Okay, so is this the stream? No. Okay. I gotta find the stream. I gotta find out. I need to get my bearings on where the bear took off, which direction. Okay, we are at the stream. Now the bear went running along this route. I think if I can get my bearings or the fo oh, there he is. Good deal, good deal. I didn't think he would have made it that far because it had been, I think, over an hour and a half of game time. Over an hour and a half, almost two hours of game time, and then by the time I found him, then you should have one arrow here for us, and there should be another wolf around somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm not that concerned about it. We may have lost our first arrow in this whole game, or in this whole run, excuse me. So, yeah. We were doing really good. We hadn't lost an arrow yet. Uh, one time... One time I killed a bear and I couldn't find it and I was on my way back 
uh, from this region to Pleasant Valley. And as I'm walking along, almost towards the landing gear, I see this arrow Damn it. sticking out just in midair, you know, with, with the... Uh, with nothing there, and then I realized, like, oh, that's that's where the bear died, and it uh, despawned <laughs> right there, but the arrow stayed kind of like at uh, shoulder height of this character. It was just suspended in midair, is what, that, is what was going on with that. So we're going to put one piece of coal here, because we're going to, let's see, we got an hour. Shouldn't take us that long to harvest this thing. Yeah, go ahead. Can we get a gut? We have an hour, so let's get a couple guts here and let's see how we do. We're hoping that there's no blizzard. Yeah, I'm glad we got the I'm glad we got the coal. All right, uh, that's about all I want to get from this guy. I don't want to spend any more time, to be honest with you. We're just gonna get some more torches here because we are out we don't have our bow so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head this way get some more sticks and I should hit uh, part of the stream here I think which is gonna hit uh, take us back towards the mountaineer's hut. We have some more food. We have some more meat to cook. I don't go this way normally, so I don't really... I don't know if I've ever gone this way. Too bad this guy can't craft a compass, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's getting hungry now, but... We're getting our outdoor time, sir, and we need to get rid of that cabin fever we got going on. Yeah, I don't like where I'm headed here. I'm gonna head back the other way. I don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. I mean, I've spent a fair... Oh, beautiful. I've spent a fair amount of time in this region, but... Not a huge amount. Right, and uh, the areas I have gone, I haven't. Um, the areas I have gone have just been just normal routes, basically. Uh, not really a lot of exploring per se. So, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know my way around back that way, and I just didn't want to be getting too crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of peaks and valleys in this region. There's a lot of ways you can get lost in this region. Sticks are our friend. Yeah, that last episode was a little nutty. Is that the wolf over there? I don't know if that's a wolf carcass or not. It might be. If it is, we've recovered all of our arrows. It is. We are back to perfect arrows right now. Perfect arrow recovery still, now that we found this guy. Should probably grab his hide too, but you know, we're cold right now, so I don't want to spend a piece of coal on him 
at this point. <clears throat> we have four wolf hides. We have four wolf hides back at the uh, Pleasant Valley. Let's get some more cattails. So, all right. Now the game. The name of the game is to just. Uh, we're gonna cook a few pieces of meat, and then we're just gonna leave the rest. Uh, I'm not even going to head down to get any of those extra animals or anything like that. Uh, that's down by where we got where we got this uh, moose and the bear. So yeah, we're going to have to eat some cattails here while we're waiting for the. Let's see what do we got? Seventeen while we're waiting for uh, the moose meat to cook. Continuing to take damage, but we'll recover it. We're gonna spend one more night here, most likely. Yeah, we'll spend one more night here. And then we'll head out with our hides and everything. Uh, we're gonna stink. It'll smell pretty bad, or pretty good, depending upon your perspective. Okay. Yeah, if I have a bad episode one day, I, I can't help it but do another one. Because I'm like, okay, uh, we need to do some fixing here. <laughs> and a uh, new rule, every stump in the long dark has to have three uh, reishi mushrooms on it. Every single one. That is a new rule. New rule. There's a deer out there. Can't do any hunting right now, anyway. We do have our pot we have to go get, too. I'm going to leave pots all over this world a bit. I hope not. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, before we drop that, let's just get a fire going here. And we'll go ahead and start it with sticks. And then we'll dump a piece of coal. Even with fire skill level 4, it seems to take a while. That did it. Do that. All right, let's get some meat, throw it on there. Make sure they're kilos, one kilo, another kilo, okay. Yeah, we don't have our pot. I'm gonna have to go see. Hopefully the weather's behaving tomorrow and we can just run up there and grab it. Uh, we can put we're going to have to wait. We almost lost our well-fed there. I have to pay closer attention. So many things to keep track of. That's the thing. That's what keeps this game interesting. You're always going to make mistakes. Going to make mistakes. Alright. Uh, that has that long. Let's put one hour into this bow. And then we'll check the meat. We're gonna need to eat soon. Then we'll swap that out. Let's go get some more. Nope, not that. Give me one kilo. Nope, I want a kilo. There's a kilo. All right. How much longer? One hour. We're gonna have to. Well, we have plenty of sticks, so hopefully. We won't have to burn much coal. All right, so then let's put in one more hour on the new bow. One hour. Oh, I forgot to eat. It's probably a good idea. I'm 
glad they show you your uh, <clears throat> stats while you're crafting stuff. Okay, so we can just put in a half hour on the bow. Just another half hour. Now let's get uh, two more kilos. One, two. Hour. Bring it up to two. Yep, our stats are fine. One another hour. All right. Let's dump this meat outside. I need that fresh gut. Or no, I don't need the fresh gut. What am I doing? Drop the fresh gut there. Grab the bear hide. Yeah, I just forgot to dump the bear hide. There you go. Okay, uh, let's see. One kilo. One kilo. Meat. It's raining here in the Midwest. It's going to rain like 12 hours. Oh, wait. No, it's going to rain about 24 hours. It's crazy. We don't get that kind of rain in the Rockies, like, lasting 24 hours. We just don't get that. All right. Let's see if we can put put another hour on this guy. And we got like two and a half hours left. All right, uh, we are gonna be low on water. I'm gonna have to sit here and cook water. Okay, so that's going to take 30 minutes. I forgot to grab that other piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Alright, and yeah, we're going to put another piece on there. And since we're going to eat, we're kind of in babysitting mode right now <coughs> with it, let's say a 30. Okay, so piece of coal in there, bring us up to two hours. And, uh, okay. Six minutes still ready. And we got some lovely weather coming our way, it sounds like. Another half hour into this. Got two hours left on the bow. Like that. Another one. That's a whole kilo. We'll see how long that. gonna have to put one more piece of coal on there. All right, uh, let's get another half hour in. Wonder if that evaporated. It probably did. Wait a second. What happened? So, is there... Huh. I 
I must have. Yeah, I must have did that. Did that. Yeah. <laughs> I must have accidentally did the full thing, right? The full uh, bow. I just wanted to do a half hour, but out of habit. Or no. That's what happened. Okay. So go back and look at the footage. I didn't extend it, but since I was less than two hours, it must be a percentage thing. Maybe somebody can uh, confirm this for me. So it must be a percentage thing, right? Like, um, <clears throat> or is it less than two hours? So what happened was, since I was less than two hours, I was thinking I would just get the half hour increment, and I clicked begin crafting. But instead of giving me the half hour increment, it did the full thing. So I was there for like uh, almost two hours. Which the piece of meat and this thing evaporated and we have our new bow right now, which we can't use because we still have a sprained wrist, but that's fine. It's going to heal in the morning. But yeah, we have our new bow now, which I did not expect that. Okay. Well, that's something to watch out for. I do remember that happening when you're getting close to being done on a crafting item. You can no longer do the smaller increments. If you click that button again, it's going to be doing the whole thing. It's just going to straight up will we'll do the whole thing. How much water do we have? Okay, so we're fine for that. Uh, I think I'd like to... Uh, let's see, what do we got for teas? I think we got like one, we have three more herbal teas. And then I think it's going to be time to really, we're going to go back the next morning. We're going to swing, first we're going to go to the cave. And then we're going to, um, to get our pot. And then we're going to go down. And then we're just going to head back to Pleasant Valley. And then get our skillet on the way back. Um, and I'm hoping, let's check the time. Yeah, we're 27 minutes in now. I'm hoping that we'll still have time to, to get more settled. Because I think the next big thing we're going to do is we're going to head to Milton. Um, I just want to go do some more looting. I want to get some more uh, items like, you know, herbal tea and stuff like that. Uh... I'll just have to think about that more. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Some more water. Let's make some herbal tea, and then we're going to go to bed. Just drink that. Because at first I thought, I'm like, why is the fire almost out? Because it was right at that. It was right at that minute mark where, you know, you get when the wind blows it out, and you have like eight minutes left or so. And I was just trying to understand, I'm like, did it blow out? Because it was a little windy, and I did have the door open, but I've never seen that happen before. Right? I just was a little, I was, I was all confused about that. Okay. All confused. All right. We are in good shape now, except for the cabin fever risk situation. It is... pretty dark out. I think we'll be fine. We're probably going to start freezing a little bit and taking damage by the time we get to the cave. Because it's just going to be... I don't want to run. Because <clears throat> we got to climb up that rope. To get up to that cave to get our pot. I just want to get back there and get the pot. So we're we're paying for our, our uh, inattentiveness right now. We took off too quickly. We wanted to go get the bear. We wanted to keep going. 
and you yeah I just learned in this game it's just like well an interloper if you get an idea in your head and then you start rushing that's a recipe uh, for all kinds of issues to happen because you're gonna leave stuff behind you're gonna make certain mistakes yeah you just you just have to watch out for that yeah we're gonna we're gonna be taking damage before we get to the cave but it is what it is I don't want to run because we got to clamp that rope um, I mean it'll be warming up a little bit but you know we still don't have the best gear yet we're getting there we should be able to make the deerskin boots when we get back to Pleasant Valley so yeah is that another wolf oh brother you just had to be there didn't you can we get around you without you annoying us look he's he's howling again maybe he'll ignore us no way. Is he going to ignore us? Oh! He almost did. <laughs> he almost did. I don't think we're going to have to deal with him, actually. I think he's just going to follow us until we get... Yeah, here's that rabbit. Dude, here's a rabbit for you. Right there. Why don't you eat it? Do you think he'll eat it? He probably won't eat it. He'll probably just walk right past it. Yeah, see? Yeah. Maybe there's nothing left in it. I don't know. Well, actually, there is no meat left in it. Because I took... Oh, oh, we got another in here. Alright. Maybe he is eating it. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna head back we're gonna have to go back to the mountain mountaineer's hut. What's this? A stone. We'll have to go back to the mountaineer's hut because we'll have to just get the rest of our stuff there. The hides and everything. Um And then we're going to smell. So it'll take a little bit to get back. It might take the rest of the episode, frankly, to get safely back to like I made it through another night. Uh, the Pleasant Valley Farmstead. So. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I wonder if there's another way up here. If anyone knows of another way up to this level where I don't have to climb a rope, I'd be interested in knowing. Because it's always good to know if you don't have to climb up a rope, basically. Right? Okay, now we're going to run. And hopefully... Our uh, cabin fever has gone down quite a bit. We'll check it once we get inside the, the cave. Open. We do need to get some more mushrooms. There should be. I don't know if I don't think I got all the mushrooms up here, but I mean there weren't there weren't that many actually. And I'm not going to go to Black Rock because as soon as you come out to the other side of of this uh, cave, there's uh, a Timberwolf pack ready to greet you. And those timber wolves are not like regular wolves. Don't kid yourself. They have they seem to have other abilities other than always running well, most of the time running. 
Yeah, there it is. How do you like that, huh? There it is. Well, how is yeah, our cabin fever? Look at that. You know, if we stay in here, our cabin fever risk is just going to go up. Oh, we might, I'm saying we might get cabin fever. So, I think what I'm going to do, we're just going to build a fire up out here to warm up a little bit. Please tell me I have more to make mushrooms. Reishi tea, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do this now. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so we need to warm up, and then we're going to head back to uh, the Mountaineer's Hut, and we're going to get our stuff. <coughs> then we're going to hightail it out of here. It worked. That's what we're going to do. One piece of coal. We're down to five. We have our pot again. All right. Oops. Let's get another one, and then we'll just grab more torches since we have things here. How are we doing on water? Oh, well. We could use more water, but... You know what, to warm up? Well, I got my warm buff and I don't want to waste them. Let's turn this into torches instead. Some more. We can be picky. All right. Let us get moving. <clears throat> Probably. Make another fire. Hopefully there's something else we can harvest along the way here. Yeah, so we just need to get back, get the rest of our stuff, and then head out. I need to make these uh, these cooking pots like a like a fluorescent orange or you know something, right? Like maybe neon green or I don't know. Something that stands out a little more. Because <laughs> it just blends in with a rock, especially in a cave. We're just kind of like, what is going on? Eh, hopefully we don't get a sprain here. Yeah, there's one wolf alive down there that was eating. I think it was eating the... What was that? Down, get down, get down, get down. All right. Now, <clears throat> get back to the hut. And then, head out. Yeah, look at that cabin fear risk. It's still... How often does that thing update? I don't think it's real time. It must like update like maybe once a game hour or something, I'm guessing. Because it does not seem to be saying much. Hmm. 
I scared him. Just by walking around, huh? Is that him? Did he go that way? Oh, he did. <clears throat> that means I gotta run into him again, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Unless I saw me cut, kill his friend, huh? Your friend broke my arrow, dude. Yeah, we had to pay for that. The oversight of leaving our pot behind. Got a fair amount of cattails. That's yeah, that's a good healthy amount. Good healthy amount on interloper. I love having twenty available. Love it. We haven't even made it to four lorem musket yet. We we haven't lost any arrowheads yet. Uh, we do need to get to four lorem at some point. We gotta we gotta get out there and then uh, yeah, I'll make like. So I'll get out there with probably like 20 pieces of scrap metal, and then I'll make like 40 arrowheads. And then just bring them all back to uh, Pleasant Valley Farmstead. Have a stash there of like 40 arrowheads, which is a great amount to have. And then basically you don't have to mess with arrowheads for just like a really long time. I mean, we could stay here longer, but... You know, since I don't have all my gear yet, I don't—I haven't crafted any coats yet. <clears throat> um, this thing isn't gonna sustain us in blizzards. How are we doing here? It's not even—it's about mid-morning. Uh, it's gonna be fun once we start fishing, but I don't want to start fishing until I have all my gear. Would you look at this thing right here? Look at that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do -do -do. Well, now I know a hammer can spawn inside there, huh? All right, if I want to start a fire, what do I have for uh, teas? Do I have anything? I can make one rose hip, right? Ugh. Yeah, so a hammer can spawn in one of those boats in Timberwolf Mountain. You guys should note that. <laughs> How about that, huh? Well, that's something else, isn't it? I'm going to do this. Nah, I'm going to have to put more fuel on this thing, aren't I? 15 whole minutes, huh? Uh, that. 30, 30, 20, 24, 23, 18. don't want to use a piece of coal on that sucker. I'm going to have to, aren't I? I'm just going to have to. That sucks. Oh, I have cabin fever now. I can't pass time indoors. Okay. Where is the cave I'm going to sleep in? Well... Yeah, there's an open cave down the other way. 
Man, oh man, oh man. This trip is costing me more in ailments and all kinds of stuff than I really, really want to mess with. We may just have to relocate with carry some meat with us. May just relocate and then just grab a bunch of um, sticks along the way. We got 32 minutes. I'm just gonna leave this here for now because I'm gonna drink it and then we're gonna take off. Um, so the cave we went into uh, during the blizzard after we got the moose. I'm going to head to that cave. I'm going to grab a bunch of sticks and harvest mushrooms along the way. We are going to carry meat with us, so we're going to stink. Um, but yeah, uh, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, and then we can sleep in there, and then the cabin fever can be gone. What is this? Do not sleep indoors for 24 hours. Okay, yeah. Okay, well. So we are going to stink. I'm going to grab this. We're going to... What do we have for torches? We're going to take some more torches. I'll tell you, before I grab any more, let's just grab what I want to... Do I want to bring anything with me? Let's see, do I repair anything? How's our rabbit stuff here? 88 and 88, that is fine for now. But we're gonna grab a whole bunch of sticks along the way, okay? Okay, so we have our warm buff going, so we don't wanna hang out here too long. Oh, Timberwolf, you really bit back on me. You gave me a moose and a bear, and now we're having all kinds of issues. Yep, we smell really good right now, but we are not over encumbered. Name of the game. Pick up as much sticks as we can. We're gonna go this way so that we go through the birch bark area. And we stink. We stink, stink, stink. Doo doo. There is another cave, um, sort of on the way. To, like if we were gonna go this um, in Pleasant Valley, and then we, if we were gonna start following the river towards, uh, what is it, uh, Thompson's Crossing? There is a cave along that route. Uh, but, now yeah, we're just gonna go this way. And how's our bedroll doing? I haven't, 68% is fine. Alright, sticks and mushroom, things to make teas with. Preferably, uh, birch bark, once we get there. We have, I think we got, we got five pieces of coal, something like that. We might only have four though, but we do have some coal with us, um, but we're going to have plenty of sticks we're going to grab along the way here towards the cave. Yeah, there goes our idea of getting into Pleasant Valley sooner than later, but uh, that's the long dark. That is the long dark. You gotta you gotta let your smartness outweigh what you want to do in the moments. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, well, you're gonna have to if you want to keep your condition up. Some people may choose to head back to Timberwolf even though they can't sleep indoors and they'd be looking for a cave and there is I mean not Timberwolf, excuse me, Pleasant Valley, but there there is um, some caves in there but um, 
I mean, the ones you can sleep in, but some of them have bears in them. Right, and you don't want a bear to spawn next to you if you've killed a bear. And uh, we got some company coming because he can smell our meat. But I think he'll get distracted by that deer there, technically. And he should. We'll see. And I'm on the... let's see. Yeah, so everything out here should really be despawned by now. I'm guessing, although... Yeah, that's the fire. That's the fire I had, yeah, so... We got a can of peaches in here. Oh, come on. I might as well grab it. I believe I'm going <clears throat> down the right way where the uh, tree is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. The tree limb. I think that wolf got distracted by that deer, I'm guessing. Because we smell, but he's not coming our way. I feel like it's going to rain for 24 hours here. The Midwest! Yay! <laughs> Someone's mm. got to go. Yeah, we're getting plenty of sticks here, so... And we're going to harvest these rose hips. Yeah, we're just low on quite a few supplies. One of the things that handicapped us after harvesting the moose and the bear. Yeah, when you go hunting, especially if you're going to you know, go away from your main base and all that, to go hunting, uh, you really want to be stocked up on things. Like... Plenty of stuff to make teas with. You want to have birch bark with you. You want to have enough coal with you. You basically want to come up with an, your own list to check and not get excited. Sometimes I get excited and I want to go do... Let's go do something a little more interesting or something like that. And then I just check a few things and then I just leave. <laughs> That's not the way to do this game. You really need to think a little more, spend a little more time thinking about what you need to bring with you. Case in point, look what happened to me the last episode. I was caught in a rough spot. We got plenty of birch bark sap, or not, well, birch saplings here. I'm going to grab these guys here right now. Can't feel my hands. There are some more too. Where, where? I saw some. Oh, at the uh, Three Strikes Farmstead, I was watching the video, and there's like four uh, birch bark saplings there as well. So we are gonna get back that way. Let's grab these mushrooms. We aren't even taking damage yet, and we are spending time outdoors. This is great. This is good. It's good right now. Take advantage of the good times, everybody. And then you can get used to the good times, and then you can be close to death. Because <laughs> you got used to them. Okay, the cave should be up here. We got some more stuff to make teas with, which is great. We got some birch bark. I think I got four pieces of birch bark. Yeah. We're almost there. And up the rope up there, I do have a bunch of meat on the outside of that cave up there too, because down this way is the rope for uh, heading up to the next level, 
which is where uh, the deer cave is where we killed that deer and we have a bunch of meat we left outside the cave. That's down that way and up the rope. All right. Now let's head into the cave and we are going to warm up in here. This is our fire from before. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to let this go out. We're going to take a nap, probably a couple hours. All right, and then we're going to head out. <clears throat> First, I'm going to drop stuff uh, that can cure. And then I'll drop, like, let's see, I'll drop uh, not harvest. What am I doing here? Drop. I drop 20 sticks and then we're going to take a nap two hours and I would just I just want to walk up that strip a little more and harvest some other stuff while we're waiting for night to come I have to make some more water we'll grab some more sticks and we'll see if there's other stuff we can harvest here. We are at 38 days, as it says. We've been surviving for 38 days. 38 game days so far. Yeah, we'll just grab a bunch more sticks. Yeah, I may have to use this cave some other time later if I'm hunting in the area. <clears throat> so doesn't hurt to leave it with a bunch of sticks, right? I hear some ptarmigans. Oh, there they are. Huh. Well, I said I wanted to harvest stuff, so let's see. Oh, these guys are tough. They're so small. Oh, okay. Oh, I got one. All right. I need these guys to upgrade my bedroll. You guys are really wearing down my bow that I just made. Okay, well, I only got two of you guys, so... I didn't know he was there. I would have tried to I tried to grab that guy. Okay. Let's keep going. We smell again now, but that's fine. I don't think there's any wolves over here. It's warm enough out. We're not freezing. I just want to see if there's other stuff we can harvest. I don't think we have enough feathers from two of these guys. I think I gotta get three birds. I think. In order to upgrade the bedroll. I don't remember. I think one bird gives you four feather units, and I think you need ten to. Uh, to upgrade the bedroll. Yeah, so I'm just going to see if there's anything else over here. Nothing else to harvest, looks like. Alright, so let's just head back. Yeah, I don't think there's any wolves over here, but since we stink, I'm just going to uh, keep this for a little while longer. Let's grab this guy's hide. While we're at it. Oh, 
Just to have another hide. We'll be heavy going back to Pleasant Valley once we eventually start heading back that way. How are we doing on time? We are at one hour, so we're going to wrap it up. We'll have to continue the episode uh, from this cave. That's what we'll have to do because of our cabin fever. I just didn't want to head back to Pleasant Valley, per se, um, with cabin fever. I'd rather deal with cabin fever here, get it over with, and then, and then head back. So let's get these sticks. Get this one. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything up that way. There might be. But it's getting close to bedtime. I'll be here most of the night, so I mean we got we have something to do anyway. We got these uh, birds to harvest, so that's fine. All right, uh, let's not start a fire if we don't even have to. Now we can just drop this. I can just drop it right here. That thing can start uh, curing. <clears throat> okay. Um, Got some birch bark. One hour for some more mushrooms. Looks like we got some fog. Oh, huh, that's more than a fog, isn't it? Ah, uh, well. Yeah, we are needing more water. I'll start a fire pretty soon. I just wanted to... Yeah, let's just drop this meat real quick. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to move that to right outside the cave, because this counts as indoors, so... Yeah, let's just put this outside. the birds in. Actually, I need at least one of these, right? To eat. Let's see, is this one kilo? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Timberwolf kicking our butt. Kicking our butt. Okay. Now, before we start uh, fire there. These guys take a while. So let's, yeah, let's see how we do here. I think the blizzard's over. I think I can get this guy before I start uh, getting too thirsty. Possibly. Uh, not quite. Okay. That's okay. That's alright. Alright, now it's time to light the fire before we go to bed. And then we can cook these guys. We can I can make some water. Oh, I should probably light the fire first before I try to cook a bird, I think. Maybe, yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> Come on. I'm so thirsty, I can't. I get too further down on my list of to-do items in this game and then I start Yeah. Turned out pretty well. Pay attention. Alrighty. I'm just gonna use that right now. Let's get some water on here. 
Um, we're going to get that, but we're just going to get this on here for just a half liter for now because we're thirsty. So we got to get that taken care of for the immediate. Then we remove this and we're going to put the ptarmigan meat on here. And 30 minutes for that guy. Twenty-eight minutes for that. Thirty-eight minutes till boiled. Get some more sticks. And we got another blizzard. Listen to that, huh? I talk about it like it's an accomplishment or something, don't I? dropping pretty low. I'm wondering... Huh. I'm wondering if I should expend the rest of these sticks just to be on the safe side. I think I'm going to. Because... It's better to be safe than dead in this game. I'd say sorry, but it's really dead. Is what it is. Better to be safe than dead. That should be the... The motto of the long dark. Better to be safe than dead. Four hours. Let's sleep four hours. And let's see what happens when we wake up. Right. Yep, better to be safe than dead, right? How are we doing on our... We only got five hours for that sucker. Uh, for the cabin fever, so... Uh, what else do we want to do? We do want to make... Probably... I should have drank a. I should have drank a uh, birch bark tea. <sighs> yeah, we'll do that now. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, drink this birch bark tea, and then I'll finish our sleep. That's good enough for now. Actually, I should make another birch bark just to have. Another. That's good. Okay, we got restore condition. We we'll sleep the rest of the night. Probably wake up midday here. Cabin fever will be gone. All right, everybody. I think this is a great place to stop. Cabin fever is gone. Our condition is where we want it to be. We have a good amount of water. Uh, we have some other stuff here. And then now we are going to head back to the Mountaineer's Hut and grab the rest of our stuff. And we are out of here. And even if there is a blizzard, I think we're just going to be out of here. I'm going to grab everything, and we'll, if there is a blizzard, we'll just run through the blizzard. We'll uh, billy goat down, and we'll get into the, uh, um, um, the bunker there and sleep there if there's a blizzard. If not, we'll just keep going. Yeah, so this is a much better episode, and I'm feeling pretty good right now with everything. All right. Take care, everybody.